Hey there everyone, today we're gonna look at how you can create a business email. Now, some of you might be wondering what the difference is between a professional and regular email account. Well, besides the obvious being one is for work and the other is for everything not work related, there is some nuance to it. For example, to have a business email, you need to have a domain and these usually don't come for free unless it's part of a hosting package from a provider like Hostinger. In their web hosting plans, you get a free business email account and can create 100 email addresses at that, so it's really a bargain. Not to mention, if you use our Site Starters coupon code from the description, along with the site-wide discounts and free trial that we also have for you in the description, it's more of a robbery when you think about it. Though, if you want to learn more about Hostinger's plans and how to set up a domain, I'll link videos that I made regarding that down below as well to get you started. Now, with all that being said, let's actually make our own business email with Hostinger. Now, to make your Hostinger business email, you just go to the top of the page where it says emails, and then afterwards, you're going to see all of your domains. From here, go to the right-hand side and click on the Manage button, and afterwards, you're going to see the Create Email Account option. So, you click on that as well, and the first step is to make your email name, and the second is to make your password. Then you hit create and you're effectively done with the process. You can also make an email client which organizes all of your emails into one, but that takes quite a few more steps. So we're not gonna focus on that right now, but I will make a video on that later. But for now, we're just gonna skip this process. Now, there are three other things I want you to take into consideration. So there's the forwarders, email alias, and automatic reply. Now, what a forwarder does, and very similar to what it usually does, is takes the emails from your business account and sends it to another one, such as a personal account or one that you have more access to when you're not using your business email. So to set this up, you just click on create a forwarder, take the email you want your emails to be sent from and then choose an email address you want it to be sent to click on create and that's pretty much all that there is to it now the feature to the right of this the catch-all email is very interesting because if someone misspells your email address the catch-all email will realize that and then file it under the correct one so all you have to do is click on create catch-all and select which email you want these to be sent to again the one that we just made create it and in case someone spells it email sisa with two s's it's going to realize okay this is the one that it's supposed to go to and then you're going to get that email so very very handy and the next thing on our list is the email alias which you can set up by clicking on this side now when an email alias is is an alternative email address that forwards messages to a primary email box so you click on create alias you select the email you want and then the email alias that you want for that particular inbox so you're still going to get emails to this testing dude at do thing guy dot online but it won't be sent to your primary email address so people will send it to the alternate one not knowing that they're actually sending it to this one so that's essentially how that works and the last thing that we need to touch upon is the automatic replies and what this is is a preset response to someone that sends you an email when you're not actually using your business account so to set this up you click on create automatic reply you choose the start date and end date for when you're not going to be available for example you're on vacation or something and the message you type in here is the message the sender is going to get once they send it to you and there you go that's pretty much all there really is to it it's very simplistic and we've covered everything we really need to know when it comes to email accounts with hosting or and business accounts in general now you know what you need to do you can create your forwarder your alias and your automatic reply and get the most out of your email address of course there's more things that you can keep track of but that is the core basics if you guys enjoy that video consider liking and hitting the subscribe button to help keep the lights on over here and if you have any questions as well, don't hesitate to ask below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also, if you want to try hosting her out yourself, then use our code SITESTARTERS from the description to get that 10% discount, along with the other exclusive deals down there as well. At any rate, though, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take care.